Unfortunately, the Islamic world, which has been one of the main pillars of world civilization, has been held back from realizing its true potential for a long time. It has been more of an idle bystander in the face of global developments lately. However, we are happy to witness that this is changing today and the Islamic world is re-emerging in the global arena. As a respected member of the OIC, Turkey has constantly been call calling on to put or, uh, our own houses in order. To give but one example, Turkey leaded the efforts for creation of a human rights body within the OIC. We believe that through concerted efforts, we can change the image of the Middle East, a region which is still perceived to be at the heart of disputes and instability in the world. For that, a just, comprehensive, and lasting, lasting peace in the Middle East is an essential condition. This will help the sense of security in the region and at the same time improve the climate for better interface among civilizations, cultures, and religions. We must continue to do our utmost for achieving a comprehensive, just, and durable peace in the Middle East. Economic viability, sustainability of the future Palestinian state is as much important as the success of political process. Different from the past months and years, we cannot afford postponing the hopes of Palestinians and belittling the urgency of gravity of the problems ahead of us. We should either move forward without delay towards two states living side by side in peace or backward for renewed conflict, deeper despair, long-term insecurity and suffering, not only for Israelis and Palestinians themselves, but for the whole region and beyond. Taking into consideration our com uh, comparative advantages, we, deeply, uh, we deploy every effort to help our Palestinian brothers to lay the groundwork upon which they will build a sovereign and independent state. We spared no effort in extending our hand to alleviate the sufferings of the Palestinian people. I think in that perspective, uh, I should underline the fact that we strongly believe the blockade imposed on Gaza should be lifted providing a dignified life for one and a half million Palestinians living therein. Let me come uh, uh, to the hot subject uh, uh, while we are just uh, drawing uh, to the conclusion, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, um, let me start by the situation with Israel. Turkey, as you all know probably, is the first Muslim country which has recognized Israel right after the United States. And since then, we have had an uninterrupted uh, relationship. And it has almost uh, it has been almost 63 years by now, or 62 years uh, that th this relationship continues. And uh, this, these uh, good relations between Turkish and Israeli states was only recent episode of a long history of friendship w uh, between the Turks and the Jews. We are talking about a record of five, five centuries long friendship. A friendship we inherited from our forefathers. Now that friendship is jeopardized with the Israeli attack on the Gaza aid convoy, which left nine civilians dead, eight Turkish citizens and one American citizen of Turkish descent. It is the first time in the history of the Republic of Turkey that its citizens are killed by a state during peacetime. 
And this attack did not come from a nation traditionally hostile to Turkey. It came from a friend of Turkey. The issue at hand is simple. As much as it's tragi tragic, nine people, all civilians have been killed. Eight of these are Turkish citizens. They never, they were in international waters at, 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 at that time. I do not want to focus on the details and engage in rhetoric. I will only share factual information on the incident itself. The Gaza convoy was not an initiative by the Turkish government. It was a civilian and non-governmental effort. It was not a Turkish convoy either. It was an international civilian humanitarian aid convoy. There were some 600 activists in the ship from 32 countries. Among the convoys, 600 activists were Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, winner, uh, 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 European lawmakers, journalists, business leaders, and an 86-year-old Holocaust survivor. Israeli Defense Forces attacked the ship in international waters, 72 miles off the coast in clear violation of international law. Now Israel must accept its wrongdoing and apologize to the Turkish people for those killings. Israel should also accept the International in Independent Inquiry as stated in the UN Security Council presidential statement. As I said, you know, I, I really don't want to go into rhetoric, uh, just uh, I would like to underline that uh, Israel's uh, really current policy is, uh, is uh, leading the country to, uh, to, to a global isolation. Not only that, Israel is on the verge of losing one of its closest friends. There is no other country in that geography uh, as, uh, as uh, Turkey being uh, a friend to Israel. And Israel should not lose that friend. Um, at this moment in time, I think uh, the ball is not on our court. The ball is, the, is in the court of Israel. This is about how Israel sees itself from from now, with or without friendship of Turkey. The same probably applies for Israel relations with its neighbors. We also hope that Israel changes its current policy toward the Palestinian problem. This issue lies at the core of many problems across the globe. And as, as President Obama has rightfully highlighted, the continuation of the Palestinian conflict provides ammunition to radicals from Pakistan to Afghanistan, from Iraq to elsewhere in the Middle East. We should, we should uh, proceed towards a comprehensive peace in the Middle East based on the two-state solution, leaving side by side in peace and stability in cooperation rather than conflict, in all, uh, all in welfare rather than poverty. 